Hello and welcome back to the Excel tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use the count a function in Excel. The Excel count a function returns the count of non-blank cells and the number of arguments that contain values in a range. Let's see how count a function works in Excel and understand its uses with the help of examples. In the first example, we'll ask function to return the number of cells that contain any value in it. So we type count a function in cell a14 and as you can see here count a function takes value arguments which can be any number text formulas arrays or cell references to the location of the data in the worksheet value 1 is required and it is the list of value to be counted whereas additional values are optional now we select a8 to a12 as range of cells and we hit enter it gives us 4 because A10 is an empty cell. So the function ignores and only counts known blank cells. We can also type any value in the second or next argument along with the cell reference. So say we type 4 in the second argument, then we hit enter. Function now returns 5. Now we move to the next example and we enter count A function in cell B14 and we take B8 to B12 and we close the parenthesis. But have you noticed that this range has a text value along with the text string which looks like a number in cell B9 and B11 respectively. Let's see what happens when we hit enter. Function returns 4 as the answer. That's because count a function does count the text value and the numbers that looks like text. Now let's see how count a handles date or currency format in the argument. So we enter function here in cell C14 and we select C8 to C12, then we close the parenthesis and we hit enter. It returned to 4 because function does count date and currency value 2 in the range. In the next example, we will take the logical value in the range. So we type count A here, then we take D8 to D12 as range and we hit enter. It gives us 5 because there is no blank cell in the range and it counts the logical value as well. Now we go to cell E14 and we type count a function there and we select E8 to E12 where E10 has an error value and we close the parenthesis then we hit enter. Function still returns 5 as the number that's because count a function counts the cell that contain any type of inputs including error values and empty text. So this is how count a function works in Excel. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.